Hi guys, so uh, today is April 22nd, 2013 and I am uh, at my 13th week of pregnancy and I think it's officially my second trimester uh, which is uh, very good and I'm very happy uh, but I still feel nauseous and uh, um, I don't feel like better um, so but I will wait a week or so and we'll see what will happen um, Today I will officially tell uh, all of my friends and uh, uh, like all the people I know on Facebook and um, like Twitter about my uh, pregnancy and that we're expecting and after this I can freely talk about uh, everyday life, uh, everyday of my pregnancy life, how I feel, what do I want and all that stuff so uh, make sure to follow me uh, on Twitter or Facebook um, for everyday news. Uh, so what happened on week 13th? Um, we did a genetic screening and uh, usually genetic screening is um, they, they suggest you to do first genetic screening uh, while you're still, uh, I think, on your first trimester, and it's hundred percent safe. They just do a sonogram, and they just take your blood like out of uh, your finger, and that's it. So they don't go like inside to take like any fluids out of placenta or baby or fetus. I mean, uh, so that's why I was. It was optional, but I just decided to. Uh, go and do that mm, just because it was 100% safe. If it wasn't, I wouldn't do that because it wouldn't change anything. No matter what results will be, it wouldn't change anything. So, but I just did, did this to look, uh, to do a sonogram and to look at uh, my baby again and to make sure that everything uh, was like good. Uh, so, how they did genetic screening? We went to doctor office and to like my uh, not my option but another doctor, and uh, his office was actually located uh, at the hospital where I will deliver it, and that was it was like inside of like their office. It was crazy cold, like crazy cold. I don't remember like any offices or anything or any room like inside that it was that cold and we asked them um, about why it's so cold and they just said that uh, in some rooms like uh, we like we in the hospital and we just cannot control the temperature that they are setting and another reason is pregnant women on their third uh, trimester crazy sweating and hot and it's just kind of more convenient for them so um, we we had to ask because it was crazy cold and I forgot my um, jacket because it's almost like summer outside and I just didn't think about this and I regret it so much. Uh, so always take your jacket with you because you never know. Um, so yeah, we went to... First, uh, the consultant talked to us about genetic screening, about the uh, reasons for this, what can happen, um, and all that stuff. And she also suggested us to... She just asked us whether we want or no to do uh, analysis for, oh, I forgot how she said, for other chromosomal um, diseases or something like that. And she said it's like 84 of them like can can be or cannot be because like uh, 
like Asian people uh, tend to have this, Caucasian people have to uh, uh, tend to have this, and it's kind of what what uh, chromosomal something your baby will have. And that was like crazy 84. Of course, he will have something out of 84, and that's not like. Um, such a disease is that like so dangerous or anything like that. So we refuse to do that. Uh, plus, it cost uh, 350 more, I think, to do that. And they will take my blood. They will take my husband's blood. And we just refuse because it will not change anything. I mean, uh, we will deliver. We will have that baby, anyways. So we refuse to do that. We just did genetic screening. So we went to that sonogram room and first nurse were um, looking at our baby and uh, she didn't say much, she said like everything looks uh, good but then doctor came uh, and he explained, uh, she, she explained some um, things more and um, it was good to see our baby again. Uh, because like first sonogram, um, he was like so small and on this like black my uterus he uh, was only like third or like not like fourth um, part of like all my uterus but now baby is much much bigger we could see him better and he was like laying and he was sleeping because he didn't move uh, at first and um, we could see, uh, we could hear his heartbeat it was uh, 163 uh, beats per minute then doctor came and she started to like press a little bit on my uterus and the baby started to like jump and move and uh, he was crossing his legs and he was touching his eye with his hand and it was so adorable um, we got the the like DVD um, of sonogram but I think yeah nurse was uh, making this DVD for us and but when doctor came she already like made DVD and so we don't have um, a record of how he moved we just I will I will show you guys yeah. they looked for fluids uh, in the spine of the baby and uh, in the nasal bone uh, they look at the nasal bone how it's developed because by this time it should be developed very well um, as they explain us uh, and then they took uh, a little blood uh, like out of my finger and that was uh, about it and then in two two days probably two three days they called me and they said that my analysis were uh, good and normal so um, that was good also um, I'm still nauseous when I'm eating wrong food um, and I'm still nauseous when I'm brushing my teeth and I asked the doctor uh, why and he said that uh, it's kind of normal a lot of women uh, experience that and something about when you lean forward when you like bending a little and you have something in your mouth it makes you gag uh, and then you have a feeling that you want to throw up and sometimes you do sometimes you don't so his advice was uh, to stand a little bit straighter even though it can be messier but uh, if you stand straight it will um, make it better so uh, so yeah I'm waiting like till my 14th week because he said that usually when it hit 14 week, week uh, women start to feel better so I'm waiting for that and um, yeah that was uh, it for 13th week I think that is like the most important um, thing that happened
and if I can to ins if I'm able to insert uh, parts of my sonogram videos I will um, I will try to and um, I just made my uh, pregnancy essentials video for first trimester and uh, I will put the link down below so you can uh, check it out and I uh, will see you guys uh, on my next video when I will be 14th week and hopefully I will feel much better and I will have great news for you. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you guys later and uh, in the beginning of this video you can see my uh, little uh, belly bump for this week. So bye guys! Tummy butter by the spoiled mama.